Hey folks, right here with another episode of Oxygen Not Included. So we're going to deal with some of the problems that we've got um, before we move on to attacking our second swamp biome. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drain all this. Well, we were thinking about pumping this out, but I think we're just going to drain it. We're going to drain all this down into uh, this pit area down here. We're going to have to unprow this because we need to do that first. We are going to rip out our thimble reeds because we now have enough reed fiber to make the Atmos suit so we can stop using our polluted water for that. We're going to install, we ran up some power here, we're going to install some auto sweepers up in this area. And we're ripping out this plumbing because we've swept out all of the salt water. And then we're going to fill up this, um, this uh, bottle emptier and we're going to go into this biome. So we'll come back when that's done. Alright, so we actually threw in an extra project here, um, put in some natural gas tanks here because we're running a little bit low. We managed to get this done. We put in our automation, built our big tank, put in a polluted water dump here to get rid of the top, we ripped this out, and now we're going to head up into here, into this biome. So this will be Swamp Biome 2.0, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to, since this one's got a little bit more water, we're going to use this water to power up a metal refinery, which we're going to put in here somewhere. And it's going to end up heating up this water quite significantly, but it's far enough away from our base that we're not too, really too worried about it. It is pretty hard, pretty far, um, and we're going to get a little bit of travel time coming to and fro, but that's okay. We don't, we don't want the heat coming through. We may end up ripping out this upper level of abyssalite and trying to get some of the heat into this biome. Because we really would like some wolframite, but I don't see any in here just yet. Oh, there we go. So that just got revealed. So we're going to have to probably dig into this biome rather than just melting it like we would prefer to. Because we do need that wolframite or else we'll have to use steel. Which I guess isn't too bad. We have to use that for, uh, for our cooling system. Steel isn't too bad either. It's actually better. It's just uh, kind of rarer and, and harder to manufacture than wolframite. So we'll let the guys get into here, and then we'll fast forward and show you guys what that looks like. So we got our first crop of waterweed in, and now we're starting to fry up some fried mushrooms here. So this is great. Not only do the fried mushrooms create better quality food, but they actually create more calories out of what you have going in. So that's awesome. Uh, we'll be good on food for a while. Our biggest problem is going to be what to do when all this food starts going rotten. So we've set one of these um, for mushrooms and one for lettuce so we use those two as our ingredients and then up here I guess we should add in the um, mushroom wrap and our guys can grab food from there so let's see how they're doing up here in the corner all right so they're starting to break through here we don't want to high prio these I think I called them uh, the wrong name last time what are they called deodorizers so we're going to power up these deodorizers And that way we can start getting rid of some of this polluted oxygen. So we'll put in the deodorizers and then we'll duck out again, do some different work and just sort of let this polluted oxygen disperse a little bit. Looks like our dupes are wasting a fair bit of time coming in and out of here to pick up mushrooms. So we're going to put in our automation a little earlier than we expected. So we'll just run that up there. There's only one guy that can do this work, so I don't mind putting it up to Prio 9. We'll make sure we'll hook up the power here, and that will cut down on how much maintenance we have to do up here in the slime biome. Let's see how we're doing on on uh, polluted oxygen here. Okay, so we're gonna have to get into here. These two deodorizers won't do it. So hopefully someone will come in and sweep this up eventually, and then we'll be done with that. Taking a look over here, we're awaiting the filtration medium. We should probably prow six of those. And then once that's done, we can clear out some of this polluted stuff and then hack out the rest of the biome. So it looks like we've run out of fertilizer here, so we're going to have to go around. Fortunately, we're on uh, the biome where it's just kind of lying around. So we'll just dig it up. I guess we can't get up to that stuff, but we'll figure that out. Fertilizer is pretty efficient per dig, so it looks like that's all there is left. So we'll have to get going on a fertilizer creator fairly soon. See how the guys are doing here. Let's see what kind of uh, 
yeah, you got here. Polluted water vent. Oh, okay. What, what temperature does that come out at? 30 degrees. Wow, that's, that's a lucky find. We might as well just pump that right out here into the biome, shouldn't we? Dig that all out there. Not going to be running out of polluted water anytime soon. And it looks like this biome is a fair bit larger than we expected. I don't know if we're going to come up into this upper area here or not. We'll see uh, what else comes up. Because we are on a bit of a clock here on um, heating and cooling and plastic and all that stuff. So we may want to cut this a little bit short. But we definitely want to start putting in our industrial stuff. So what that looks like is some kind of a refinery, metal refinery. Make it out of indigenous rock. All right, there you have it. So we've got a very basic metal refinery here, temporary. There's no cooling on it. It's just going to dump its heat into this polluted water, which is fairly cool already. But by the time we're done, it'll be up around 60 degrees. Although this polluted water vent may help. We should probably up this prior here and start it pumping. But we already do have a source of cool polluted water here to put in our cooling pipes and stuff. So that's what this polluted water and this polluted water is for. This isn't too hot and we want to use this for our cooling system. Alright, well that took longer than expected but we finally got her done. Now we've got access to making steel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to queue up 20 iron, put steel on forever, and we actually need some copper too. So, well, we'll just load this thing up and that'll give our dupes plenty of stuff to do with the metal refinery. So what's going to happen here is we've got this nice cool 26 degree polluted water here. It's going to get sucked up into the metal refinery. It's going to get spit out about 20 degrees hotter. And eventually this is going to heat up nice and toasty, but this polluted water vent is going to actually cool it down a little bit. So this will actually be stable for a little bit. Now there's a couple of things we want to do here. We probably want to go on a quest for a wolframite because I think we're going to need this. Let's see where a good... Let's see, we're going to hit the least amount of abyssalite this way. So the last thing we're going to do before we go is we're going to set up a quest for a wolframite because we're going to need this to make our uh, radiant gas pipes. So we're going to send Marie up here to dig this out. Um, we've successfully hacked out another slime biome, most of it anyway. We'll eventually go through and get the rest of this. But um, what we really want to do is start getting our industrial brick online, as well as some ranching and some ventilation to deal with the gunk that's going to come out of here and keep it out of our base. So guys, hope you had a lot of fun. Hope you learned something or at least enjoyed yourselves. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.